Hey guys, welcome to my video on using Apple Notes on Vision OS. Uh, notice with my setup here, up to the left here, this is my presentation. I'm using this as a checklist to sort of keep on track. In front of us, this is the Apple Notes application, um, and I have some space available to the right here where I'll be opening up other applications to integrate in with this. Uh, up also on the right, this is my mirrored computer. Now, we don't actually need to use that. I just need it connected so I can use my mouse and keyboard in this environment. So more about my setup, I am using Vision OS 2 Beta 3. So we are using beta software, which also means that this is a beta version of the Notes application. And then as far as how I have this application set up, Notice in my accounts list over here to the left, you can see that I'm using my iCloud account. Now you can use a Microsoft account or you can store your notes locally on your computer. And for configuring those sorts of options, those are configured in the operating system as settings. So let's look at operating system settings real quick. This is settings. I'm going to go into apps there. And when I go into apps, what I do is I scroll down to the notes app. And then when I click notes, these are the settings for that application. Uh, so uh, there is an option if you want to store your notes locally on the device. Uh, that's where you would use this on my Vision Pro account. If I enable that, we can look over at the notes application and we can see uh, the on my Vision Pro account just showed up. Now, if I save notes there, they won't be backed up to any cloud. So uh, because of that, I don't like to use that. Uh, but you could use a different cloud provider as well. Um, if I go into accounts here in the settings, this Helms Tech, this is my personal 365 account, right? Um, I, I can go into that and turn on the note service and we can watch that account pop up in this toolbar over there. Now, the thing with using a, a non-Apple uh, cloud account for storing your notes is that you will lose formatting. Um, you can't use most of Apple's formatting options in a note that's not hosted with Apple. So because of that, I don't like to use a non-Apple Apple accounts to host my notes either. So I'm going to remove that. So the next thing I want to show here is a little bit of the user interface of the notes application. Uh, over to our far left, this is where we get our list of accounts and folders. Uh, so you can call it the folder bar, the accounts bar, um, that's where those items are stored. Um, below your accounts and folders, uh, you have tags. This is a tag section, and as we use tags in our notes, uh, they will show up in that list. The next bar here is our list of notes. Now, depending on what folder we have selected, the notes that are contained within that folder are displayed here. So I think of that as a hierarchy. And then this area where we type the stuff, where we put in our data, I refer to that as our content area. Now, before we get too far past it, I do want to show a couple things with this folder list over here. Uh, firstly, know that you can have subfolders. You can have subfolders up to five folders deep. If you try to add a sixth level of subfolders, the application will give you an error message saying that you can't do that. The other thing that I want to show is that you can use emojis almost anywhere in this application, including for uh, folder names. So if I go to rename the subfolder here, what I can do is I can hit this globe here and bring up the emoji keyboard, and then we can put a penguin or a duck or a monkey or a tiger. We can put all sorts of emojis directly in the folder name and save that, and then that just works without issue. So then at bottom there, that is our toolbar. In other versions of this application on Mac OS, your toolbar is at top and it's even customizable. In this application, it's a floating toolbar that hangs out at the bottom of the app and it's not customizable. I've not found any customization options for it. With navigation here, uh, so also in the Mac OS version of this application, you're able to hide that folder and account bar in order to uh, grow your content area for a better view. Um, that's not an option in this, in this version of the application, which I suppose you don't need it because you can grow your notes to basically however large you want and you can bring them as close as you want for working on them. So you have enough flexibility. I guess Apple just doesn't think we need to be able to hide that. Now, 
Now, uh, as I say that, we do have the option to open a note in a new window uh, to hide all of your sidebars. And then I can pull this note and make that as large as I want and just work purely in that note. And this has been uh, my preference for the interface. So one of the relatively new features in Apple Notes, not brand new, but relatively, is the ability to collapse sections. Notice in this test note here, I have a header, I have a subheader, and a, a couple subheaders. This last subheader has some text under it. Now, um, whenever you create a section with a header, you get this arrow to the left of it that allows you to uh, collapse that section of data. So I can collapse a section in the middle uh, or either subheader section uh, or I can go to the primary header and collapse everything so that is super helpful for navigation as your notes get super long uh, for deleting Notice we have this uh, deleted uh, items bin over here whenever we delete an item uh, that goes into this recycle bin for 30 days and after 30 days that item will get permanently deleted uh, so i already have a note in here i'm going to permanently delete this note manually from this deleted items uh, container and watch that this folder disappears when i do that so that folder the deleted items folder has disappeared um, and we see that behavior in a few different places in this application. If a folder is not used, not one of your standard folders, but they're dynamic folders that if they're not used, they disappear. Now, if I just uh, delete another note, that then comes right back. And then uh, maybe uh, I want to restore that note instead of permanently deleting it. I'm, I'm right clicking on it and choosing to move it right now. I could move it to uh, anywhere I wanted to and that bin goes away again once it's empty. So since this kind of environment, most of our Apple apps are meant to be used with touch and with pinch. Apple's built in a couple of features that help with that. Um, one of them is multi-select. If I go up to this menu, and select notes, choose select notes, then I can put a check mark beside the notes that I want to uh, uh, select. And then I have options down here to tag that group of notes, or I can delete a group of notes all at the same time. I'm just going to click done. I don't want to delete those right now. We do have some uh, alternate views available as well. This is our list view. Uh, the notes within a folder are displayed in a list. Uh, so it's list view, and the list view has the content area over on the right hand side. A different view that we have available is gallery view. And if you click on this menu and uh, go to view as gallery, this is our gallery view. And uh, this is a little bit customizable. Uh, you can use big photos or smaller photos, which are just screenshots of your notes. Um, and then if I want to edit something, uh, notice I don't have the content area, so I need to actually go into the note. And it opens a, lar a little bit larger content area for us here. It doesn't do the note in its own kind of window, uh, but it uses the existing window and expands the note out. So I am going to go back to list view, view as list view, uh, just because this is my preferred uh, view. The other kind of view I want to show you, it's uh, attachment browser. Uh, or attachment view. If I uh, go up to that menu and I say to view attachments, it does change the view, but it's really changing the operations of what we have going on here. This allows us to view attachments based on type, and it doesn't matter which note they're in. If it's in your notes files, uh, you can view your attachments in here. So that makes it uh, relatively quick to find a specific attachment that you're looking for. I'm going to click done on that, and that takes us back to our notes. And then while we are looking at uh, sort of navigation here, I want to show you the Spotlight integration. If you bring up Spotlight and you are searching for something, we can search for test, there's a Spotlight filter. You can do colon, note, after whatever you're searching for, and notice that your first results there are notes. So doing colon, note, filters your search results to show you relevant notes. So then let's just create a basic note here. Uh, we have a couple options for that. We can uh, uh, pinch this icon up in the top right hand corner uh, or uh, click it. And this opens up a new note here. Um, 
I'm going to click out of that so that disappears. We also have the option to do it by a keyboard shortcut. Not all of our keyboard shortcuts work in this environment, but there are some of them that do. Um, and so hitting Command N, that'll start a new note for us. New note for us. Now, uh, in the Mac OS version, you have the ability to duplicate notes. Um, whenever I do the pinch and hold menu, I, I don't have the option to duplicate notes in this environment. I'm sure they'll add that in at some point. I personally use a note duplication so I can have a template note and then duplicate that to fill in meeting notes or whatever I'm using it for. And the other thing I want to show here is uh, uh, drawing. So on the iPad version, you can use your Apple Pen to draw in a note. Well, they've brought that feature into uh, the Vision Vision OS version of the software. Um, so before I do that, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this note in a new window. So all I see is this note here. Then I'm going to bring this really close to me. Now, uh, the reason I want to bring this really close is instead of doing look and pinch, I want to use my touch controls here. So I'm going to touch the pin, so I bring up my pin options. I'm going to touch uh, whichever uh, pin or marker I want to draw with and choose my color, and then I can just draw with my finger. This has been really intuitive to me. Um, I can draw as accurately as I can on my iPad, and it is a lot more accurate than I expected it to be. So I'm going to click done on that and go ahead and close out of this note. Next, let's look at some more formatting options for our notes, for the text in our notes. We were in this section a few moments ago, so let's go back here for this. Um, title and body, whenever you start a new note, the first line you type in uh, will be auto formatted as a title. Uh, any line that you type after that, a um, new line. This is auto formatted as body preset. Uh, so you can reformat that as a header. You can also add additional titles um, through the format menu there. Um, and you would format it just like you would a heading or a subheading. Um, is select your text and then select the option that you want to format it as. Highlighted text is just a little bit different than these formatting options. Um, so the premise is the same. You select your text and then uh, select uh, your highlight. Uh, the difference being is you can choose which color you want to highlight that text. Lists. Lists are available. Now, there is a difference between lists and checklists, but um, my preferred list is the dashed list because I can just type a hyphen and start typing my items. Now there's also a bulleted list uh, available. Let's go ahead and type out a couple things and then uh, format those as a bulleted list. That's under the formatting menu and bulleted. And it's just as you'd expect, I suppose, uh, bullets. In addition, you can do a numbered list. Um, and this just auto formats as you go. You can do any of these lists manually from the formatting menu, but uh, numbers and dashes, I, I prefer just doing from the keyboard. Now, in addition to lists, uh, we have uh, uh, checklists. And let's go down here and do a checklist. Um, this icon right here um, allows us to do uh, checklists. And notice that puts an actual circle. Uh, it's a circle because you can click it or choose it and put an actual check mark in it. So let's do item one, item two, and item three. The thing about these uh, checklists is whenever you complete an item and you put a check mark beside it, it auto sorts that completed item to go to the bottom of the list. So your to do list sort of stays on top. And you can modify that uh, functionality in the settings. Uh, I just like it, so I don't. And then also we have our standard tables. Uh, tables are really similar to uh, the other uh, applications. Um, inside of a table, um, I'm going to right click on this triple dot here, and uh, we have some different options to uh, add links, insert drawings. But if I do that again, I highlight a cell, click the triple dots, and then after it's highlighted, click the triple dots again. Uh, now I have the option to delete a column or add a column. And I can do the same thing over on the side with rows. I can delete a row or add a row. So then that gives us our full table functionality. 
As far as the type of content that we can have in notes, uh, so we can do text, tables, lists, uh, but there's just a lot more. Um, one of the things we're able to do is link a note to another note. Let's go down to test two note here. Now, if I want to link to another note, um, I, I prefer the keyboard shortcut. I can hit Command K, and this gives us the option to link to another note. So I'll link. Uh, I'll search for header test, click done, and now I have a link that takes me to that note. If I had a paragraph typed out, um, then I, I could select a word or multiple words from that paragraph and right click on that and add a link to another note. So you can somewhat replicate wiki functionality uh, by linking words to different notes. So for attachments in your notes, you can drag just about any type of file, uh, specifically from Finder, uh, into a note and it will uh, create a copy of that file and attach it to your note. Uh, you also have this uh, attachment option on your toolbar that allows you to attach to different things. Um, attach file will bring up your uh, files that, so you can select a file to attach. I have this note here. This is the result that you get when you attach a PDF. Uh, so most files will just give you a link, but when you uh, drag in a PDF, uh, it actually displays that PDF in a viewer. And then you can uh, show thumbnails of each of the pages so you can quickly navigate as well. So you, you get special functionality with PDFs because of the built-in PDF reader. Now, in addition to that, you can mark up a PDF. So let's bring this closer so I can reach it and go into drawing. And I can choose my ink pen and I can notate directly in the PDF. And then uh, those notations are stored directly inside the PDF document. So some additional uh, integration that we can use is with uh, Safari. So if I open up Safari here, I can show that I can easily link and let's go to this new note here. Um, for linking, well, I could just uh, copy and paste that. So there's a standard link. Additionally, I've got the share option over to the side, and I can share that to a note. And this gives me the option to choose which note that I want to share it to. Um, I can choose my folder that I want to share it to. Um, and we are in test folder A, create a new note, save that. So that just created uh, this note here with a link to the website that I'm looking at. Um, also, though, I want to show you there is a built-in uh, video player, and there are a few places where that video player comes into play, but one of the special ones is uh, with YouTube videos. So if I share a YouTube video to a note, I'll click Save there, that puts that YouTube video directly in the same note, and then I can hit play and... Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial on using Apple Notes. Even uh, this audio is using there. Apple. And, but it uses the player directly inside of the uh, application. So not only can we uh, use the player for uh, YouTube, we can also bring up the Photos app. Let's go with that one. I'll drag that into a note and drop it. Now it does take it a second to process, but it brings that photo up kind of as large as it can in your area. In addition to photos, you can uh, drag a video from photos directly into the Notes app, and then you can play that video uh, directly in the app with that integrated player. Uh, so there's quite a bit of functionality with the, uh, uh, with the content that you can have in a note. I'm going to delete that, that content uh, to show you one more integration, and that is with the voice recorder. Now, uh, the Mac version of the app allows you to, uh, they give you a transcription button so you can transcribe your voice directly into a note. Um, this version does not have that transcription uh, integrated, but if you do a recording in the voice recorder, what you can do is click and drag that directly into a note. 
drop that. Now the player is integrated, so now in order to listen to this recording, I don't actually need to open the voice recorder app. It's just directly integrated so I can Test play it. One, two, three. So then let's talk about organizing notes. How can we organize notes? Um, the basics of organization is that you can uh, uh, click and hold a note and then drag it to a separate folder and then that moves the note to a separate folder. Uh, but over in this notes uh, uh, navigation tree, you can have subfolders up to five folders deep. Um, you can put emojis in the titles of folders or notes or within your notes. Uh, but then there's also tagging. Uh, we have this tagging section down here in the bottom left hand corner, uh, but let's see kind of how that works. Uh, maybe in this note here, uh, I want to tag that as uh, videos. And when I hit space, that's when it turns into a tag. Uh, let's tag it with photos as well. I'll hit enter and that turns that into a tag. Now down in the tag section, notice that those tags showed up there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the photos tag. Now over here in my uh, notes bar, it filtered for all the notes and only the notes that have the photos tag. Now if I pinch that again, what this is showing me is all of my notes that do not have that tag. And in order to get back to default with the tag search, I need to click that one more time and then uh, that gets us back to the default setting. Um, pinning notes is an option. Um, if I'm working on something heavily, I'll often uh, pin it to the top of my column. And now that one is just right there. If I need to, uh, if I'm done working on it or I'm moving on to some other priority, I can unpin that and pin something else and it'll just move to the top of the column. So smart folders is another option that we have. Um, smart folders, it's not really a folder. It's more of a search is what it is. And I'll show you this. Let's create a smart folder. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this the name of the tag that I wanted to search for. So I'm going to name this uh, photos. And then I'm going to tell it to make it into a smart folder. Um, since a smart folder is more of a search, I have to tell it what to display, what to search for. And I want to search for tags, uh, but only selected tags. And let's go with the photos tag. I'll click done and done. And now, so I have this gear with the word photos by it, and Apple refers to that as a smart folder. If I click that smart folder, it displays all the notes with the photos tag. And that's sort of how, there are some caveats to it, but that's how the smart folders work. Uh, some of those caveats are I can't, uh, I can't move the smart folder into another folder. It can't be a subfolder. Uh, so you are sort of limited by how long of a list you're willing to have because you can't bury those in subfolders. So we also have the ability to lock notes. And let's just go through this. If I want to lock this note, And what I did was I pinch and held on it, and then I can choose lock note. And uh, I had forgotten about that. Notes with tags can't be locked. If I go to another note, though, pinch and hold, lock that note. So uh, I, I, I censored it out, but I put in my passcode there because it asked for it. And then uh, it's asking me if I want to enable uh, optic ID, eyeball scanning, for unlocking my notes. And I do. And then OK there. And now that note is lockable. In order to close that lock, I have this lock now in the top right hand corner and I can pinch that lock and it locks my notes. But if I need to view a lock note, I can click view note, scans my eyeballs, and now I have access to that content. I can remove the lock from the note, remove lock, and now it's just a normal note again. And that's what I've got prepared for us, guys. I, I thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Um, if you've learned anything here or even appreciated anything, I'd appreciate a subscription or a follow or a comment. Uh, any feedback whatsoever would be appreciated. And uh, I have additional uh, content that I'll link in the description that'll take you to my uh, x.com profile if you want to read some of my articles. Thank you.